So this right here is wobble chair exercise. This is something that you're gonna do in the office as well as at home. Now at home, you're gonna actually have a, a red wobble, wobble chair, wobble disc, but the same rules apply. So the first thing I do when I get on this, is, and, and actually uh, really to explain this, the goal of this exercise is to provide fluid and nutrients, really help pump fluid and nutrients in and throughout your spine, all the soft tissue, and help enhance the healing process. At the same time, it brings oxygen right up into your brain. So it's gonna enhance your brain, enhance cognitive function, memory, all those types of things. So good benefits that we all want. So this is how it works. I'm sitting nice and square. My, my, my hips and my knees are lined up. And the first thing I'm gonna do is do front to back exercises like this. And so as I'm doing this exercise, a couple things that I'm gonna do, try to get a really good stretch. So I'm gonna come down, come back up. The next thing I'm gonna really focus on also is actually contracting different muscles. So when I come down, I'm actually squeezing my abdominals, getting some good core work. When I come back up, I'm gonna squeeze the muscles in between my shoulder blades, almost pinching my shoulder blades together. I always tell people, pretend that there's a, a pecan, right, or a walnut or something right behind your, right in between your shoulder blades and you're just trying to crack that nut and then you come back down and squeeze your abdominals. Finally, I'm also gonna incorporate my breathing with it. And so when I come down and I'm squeezing my abdominals, I'm gonna exhale. And then I come back up, squeezing my shoulder blades, I'm inhaling. Simple and easy, just like that. So that's our first exercise. We wanna be doing about 60 repetitions. If for whatever reason you have a condition, possibly a lower back condition, that doesn't allow you to get a full range of motion, just do it to where you can. Uh, for whatever reason, it, it fatigues you early, if you're one of the, a special population that that happens to, just do what you can. And that's gonna really help propel you to the next level. So next step we do is go side to sides, just like this. Okay, and side to sides, again, we wanna get a really good range of motion right here. And if you want an additional stretch, you wanna bring your arms up over your head, just like this, and really take it side to side. You'll notice this stretch right back here in your lats, as well as throughout your lower back, okay? So again, 25 to 60 reps, ideally about 60. And then the last two exercises, we're doing full circles. Getting a good range of motion, full circles, just like this, and then back in the opposite direction. And you can see just like that. So this is something that you wanna do twice a day. So in the morning, again, when you get up, again, it's gonna allow oxygen and nutrients to get up into your brain. It's gonna allow fluid and nutrients to get into your lower back, throughout your spine, help warm you up, help the healing process. You wanna do it in the morning, and at night will naturally help your system energize.